This is a microscopic view of germs magnified several million times. When germs attack the human body, they often cause serious and dangerous diseases, such as diphtheria, a vicious disease of children. Germs in unknown trillions upon trillions infest the earth. They cripple and maim and destroy human life. To combat these germs and to protect public health, modern medical practice enlists the aid of vaccines, serums, medicines, and drugs. The science of preparing and dispensing these medicines and drugs is called pharmacy, one of the oldest professions known to man. And the key figure in this profession is the highly trained registered pharmacist. He may be the man working diligently in the research laboratory, seeking to develop new and better forms of medication. Or he may be found in a pharmaceutical plant, controlling the strength, purity, and quality of drug products. Or he may be serving in any one of almost 60,000 retail drug stores throughout the country, cooperating with physicians in the interest of public health. Although the corner drug store is often an all-service institution, its most important function is to serve as the health center of the community. A doctor's prescription may seem mysterious to the average layman, but it's all very simple to the pharmacist. It may contain chemical names or abbreviated medical terms, but the pharmacist understands it perfectly. It is his responsibility to make sure that each prescription is filled exactly as the doctor has ordered. Accuracy and skill are synonymous with pharmaceutical technique. An error in the compounding of a prescription could be injurious or even fatal to the patient. So the pharmacist must take every precaution in his work. He checks and double checks both the instructions and the required ingredients. After the medicine is compounded, he transcribes the necessary instructions on the label. Each prescription has its own serial registry number, which goes on permanent file to be kept on record as required by law. Annually, about 300 million prescriptions are filled by pharmacists. To be a pharmacist, one must be a graduate of an accredited college of pharmacy and pass the state examination for a license. The pharmacist, in common with all professional men, has a responsibility for ethical and conscientious service to his community. For at one time or another, human life will depend on his ability, accuracy, and integrity. On the pharmacy shelves are many drugs that must be used only under professional direction. Many of these are restricted items and must not fall into unscrupulous hands. Before he can fill any prescription containing poisons or narcotics, the druggist must obtain the purchaser's signature and address and the reason for the purchase in a special ledger. In very large drug stores, the pharmacist devotes his time exclusively to filling prescriptions. In smaller stores, he may also be in charge of hospital and sick room supplies as well. In these stores, the prescription business is generally light. So the pharmacist, who is usually the owner, sells many other products to maintain a sufficient volume of business. Success in pharmacy, as in any other profession, is achieved by diligence, persistence, and strict regard for professional ethics. In recent years, specialized prescription stores have become more numerous. Here, pharmacists sell only pharmaceutical products and supplies. As specialists, they keep up with all current developments in the drug field and can supply physicians with expert information on this subject. Specialization is also required in the field of hospital pharmacy, which offers opportunities for both men and women. Here, pharmacists must compound drugs, fill prescriptions, prepare antiseptic solutions, serums and vaccines, and make bacteriological and clinical tests. Those in supervisory positions are responsible for the purchase of medical supplies and for the general administration of their departments. Veterans Bureau hospitals also require many pharmacists for staff duty. In fact, the government is one of the largest employers of pharmacists. 
Many positions are open to train men and women in the Food and Drug Administration to inspect commercial products for purity and quality. In the Public Health Service to prepare and dispense medicines in cooperation with physicians and in the Internal Revenue Bureau and other federal agencies. All of these government jobs are under civil service with definite steps for advancement and usually offer permanent employment. A degree from a college of pharmacy is essential for this type of work. The Navy and the Army, however, prefer to train their own pharmacists since they are also taught to administer the medicines they compound. A pharmaceutical background is invaluable for individuals with special aptitudes. Those with ability for organization can find excellent opportunities for service in professional and trade associations. Those who like outdoor work can find opportunities in the growing of medicinal plants. Those who have literary ability may serve as writers and editors for professional magazines and trade journals. And those with a competence to teach may become instructors in colleges of pharmacy. Preparations for a career in pharmacy should begin in high school. A part-time job in a drugstore will determine whether a student has real interest and ability in this field. By assisting the registered pharmacist, the student also gains useful experience and helpful knowledge that will be of great benefit to him later. While acquiring this practical experience, the prospective pharmacist should study chemistry and biology. A foundation is thus prepared for his college work, which generally consists of a four-year course leading to a Bachelor of Science degree in pharmacy. If he needs financial assistance, scholarships may be available to meet part of the college expenses. After graduation, he must pass a state board examination before receiving a license to practice. Most states now grant reciprocity to out-of-state applicants. Although only a small percentage of pharmacists are women, the proportion is steadily increasing. Women make good pharmacists, and opportunities are open to them in every phase of the profession. Many are employed as technicians and supervisors by drug manufacturers. In this field, registered pharmacists are in constant demand, not only in the manufacture of pharmaceutical products, but also as salesmen and detail men to visit physicians and druggists and to give technical advice on the latest developments in medicines and drugs. These developments are carried out by research pharmacists in the laboratories. To them goes much of the credit for the advancement in the treatment of disease. They strive constantly to find new medicinal weapons to combat man's greatest enemies, the germs of disease. Daily, headlines tell us of their results, of lives saved by new drugs, vaccines, and serums. In this dramatic fight to preserve and protect the nation's health, the corner druggist plays a role that is just as important as that of the scientist in the research laboratory, the clinic, and the experimental station. For in the end, each new discovery finds its way to the local retail pharmacy. The corner druggist acts as a distributor of medical products in every part of the nation. For those who can qualify, who combine manual dexterity and accuracy with professional integrity, this field offers excellent opportunities for useful service to humanity for both men and women. The work is confining and requires continual skill and diligence, but the rewards are satisfying for this is work that contributes directly to human welfare. Study your interests and aptitudes and compare them with the requirements of this profession. Pharmacy may become your life work.